Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here tonight with Tyler Wolkowitz, Ben Roberts, and Tom Albert. We are out in Manchester Essex High School, the Hornets Nest. We're coming at you with a round of 32 MIAA state tournament game between your Frontier Red Hawks and the Manchester Essex Hornets. This contest today is being brought to you by the Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association. This association is responsible for governing, coordinating, and promoting educational athletics and aims to provide student athletes with the best high school experience possible. The MIAA stresses the values of interscholastic athletics from discipline and commitment to sportsmanship and teamwork. Visit the MIAA website today at miaa.net and explore all that they have to offer. Again, that's miaa.net and it is going to be a great game tonight, Tyler. We'd like to thank our sponsors really quick as well, Alvaro Hearing Services in Greenfield and Holiday Pizza in South Deerfield. We picked up some of that earlier today. But right yeah. here, right now in the Hornets Nest, Tyler, it's just an electric crowd. It's just like Planet Tell X, really. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Mason. It's out of this world, truly, but we're very grateful to be here. It's going to be a good game, and we're looking forward to it. Absolutely, and yep. the teams are there's some very strong teams coming in here. Frontier Red Hawks, we've been following all following them all season. Ups and downs, lefts and rights. Ten and ten was their record at the end of the regular season. They're the 28th seed, and they uh, beat Madison Park quite soundly in the preliminary round, 81 to 46. Now they have a big challenge ahead of them in this game, Tyler. The fifth seed in the tournament, one of the best in the state. Manchester Essex Hornets 19 and 1 on the regular season and the fifth seed in this tournament. What what is Frontier going to have to do to win this game, Tyler? Well, Mason, this school here, the Hornets Nest, they are a fantastic team. They're so sports centered and they have a yeah. lot of good programs here. Well, I think overall the main thing Frontier has to do is really stay focused. They cannot let this team get ahead of them fast. Is this so they may not be able to come back? Absolutely. Coming out strong is always a big thing for these teams, uh, especially at this stage uh, in the season. We saw our girls basketball team play against Lunenburg last night, and they just came out and completely blew them away, just knocked them off their feet. And that really just sealed the deal from the beginning for them. So if Frontier is going to be able to stay in this game, that's what they need to do and be able to match the energy that the Hornets are going to be putting out on the court tonight, Tyler. Yeah, and Mason, with that, they have to keep the energy after the second half. Like, they really got to be able to keep pushing it and keep continuing to do very good. See Absolutely. And so now we're going to go to the court. We're going to go to the court where we're going to have the starting lineups and the national anthem.
for number 10, Captain Max Collette. Yeah, Max. The Red Hawks are led by head coach Josh Morris. Back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here tonight with Tyler Wolkowitz, Ben Roberts, and Tom Alber. What an electric performance, Tyler. That was, I mean, this is just one of the best crowds I've seen all year. Maybe just like in general. That was amazing. Yeah, Mason, this is incredible. What a start. Even before the game begins, we are already hyped and ready to see this playoff. This is just gonna. This is gonna be a fun game, regardless of the outcome, Tyler. I am so excited for this, and the tip-off is gonna be won by the Hornets. First points wow. go to their captain, Cade. First. That was routine. That was beautiful. It's a good play right off of the bat, and now Frontier trying to look for a quick response. This is what they need to start it off, Tyler. Oh, and Bab driving in the paint gets rejected, and he's still with it. Slings it over to Alex Ellis. He's trying to get it into Millette. Good pressure. The Dragon loses the ball and now it's turned over. With the ball is Chow. 
and the Dragon can't get the block going up again. Bab deflects, deflects that a little bit. Yeah, that was a really good rebound there. Millet oh. ties it up. Good move in the paint. Yeah, found space. Nobody was really in front of him there. It's a good fake right beforehand, too. Yeah, exactly. First bringing it up for the Hornets. Gets to the arc against Millet. Back and forth, jab step, floater. There it is. Look at that confidence to create space like that in the one-on-one. -on -one. That was great. We're going to see a lot of back and forth like this, I think, Tyler. This is going to be, this is just, I'm already having so much fun with this. Millette trying to make things happen. He gets shut down, out to Bab. He puts it up, there my it God. Is. Look at that. Now they know they can't give Owen too, too much space there. That is a rare look for Owen Babb. He rarely has to shoot from that far out, but it's, I mean, it's great that he's able to make those shots too. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Mason. That was a great take for Babb. Zeltzer. And now back to first with it in the corner. Feeds it on the blocks, back out. Can't get the three off, there it is. And oh. Fasulo gets the rebound. I think that that was Chow off the shot. Ellis, bit of an opening. Gets shut down and now out to Bab for, for three. three. Too oh. far. He has a range, but that was a good shot. And now an opening for first. Don't let him get that open. And Fasulo gets Great the save. rebound, gets tripped up, and that's going to be a foul called. Yeah. It's going to be a kickball. Interesting. It'll stay Red Hawks ball. And that was uh, Preston Potter who picked up that foul. And steal for Nico. Fasulo. And now Fasulo, senior captain for the Hawks, bringing it up. Potter, some nice defense at the point. He tries the drive, swings it out. The Dragon! No! Oh! Look at that pass, no looker. Beautiful. And the Hawks go up by three early, Tyler. Yes, they are, Mason, but you never know. So close. It's going to be close this whole game. I don't doubt it. Hawks came here to win this, but wow, athleticism in the air. First, making it difficult for him, just taking every chance he gets. Millet on the blocks. There wow. it is. Wow. There it is. They both could take ones. Like I said, just back and forth, just so much energy on the court. Three minutes have already gone by, and just some of the fastest basketball we've seen in a while. Opening for first at the key, and he gets fouled going up. Shot's no good, but. That was, that was an interesting uh, choice there by the shooter. Like I said, going around the bend, he just seems to pull up for the shot. It's interesting. And Millette will pick up his first foul. Team's first as well. Bad guy to be fouling for the Hawks. Free throw. First one is no good. That's a... I gotta say, I'm a little uh, shocked by that. I saw him warming up and he was kind of drilling him just like that. Yeah, he really is. Now first starting to hit his rhythm. Right. Trying to get rid of the bends for now and Bab doesn't want the three. Oh, the dragon, ah, just, he was looking for someone open and he couldn't find anyone. Left him high and dry, Tyler. Yeah, Mason, I mean, he was trying to find an outlet there, but he tried to go up and nothing nothing came out. Yeah. It's all right, it happens, it happens sometimes. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. tough. And now, getting close to the halfway mark in the first quarter, Hawks up by four in the Hornets' nest and just oh. released a little too late, hit the bottom of the backboard, and now Fasulo, will he go fast or slow? Jab step in the corner. Uh, good control of the ball. Got to recover, and now Bab. On the baseline. the baseline, Dragon doesn't want the shot. Spinning around, puts it up, oh. way short. It's all right. Hawks have been doing that a little Hand too much. It. Pump fake, baseline, out to the corner for three. Chow! There it is. What a fantastic play, Mesa. Found the open man, got a three for it. There it is. Man, oh man, uh, now one point game. Fasulo takes it up. He's got Manning in the corner. Now he's running along the baseline. Fasulo over to Bab. Back to Fasulo. Fake pass and gets Whoa. it into the paint, but there's a lot of contact there. No All foul right. called. Now first, back and forth at the point. And his shot will go. There it is, creating space from nothing, Mason. 
That was very, very skillful. He's one of the big scorers on this team, one of their captains as well. And now Millette over to Fasulo. Ball's knocked loose. He gets to it first, still loose. Bab's gonna it's get open. there. No backcourt violation as first touched it. Opening for Fasulo. Yeah. Little short. Oh, and Millette gets the rebound, puts it up. Can't get it a second time. Great effort by Millette. Look at that. No help in the paint, though, Tyler. That's no, going to come no. back to bite him for three. Wow, there it is. Timeout Frontier. And that was Good John ball. Horaeus, Edward Horaeus's little brother. And he puts the Hornets up by four now as we go into our first break. I mean, a lot going on, Tyler. Yeah, man. Like, just so much happening so fast. What are you thinking right now? Well, Mason, I think this is a really interesting game. I mean, this team is clearly very skilled. I mean, they're called the Hornets Nest for a reason. Yeah. Clearly, they can stink. But, I mean, my eyes are really getting distracted here. I mean, this green is so, it's like, it's so, like, apparent around, you know? It's like fade past the trees. Yeah, right it's, it's definitely, it's, like, it, it's an odd little color. But, I mean, again, I yeah. mean, the, yeah. Speaking of color, you can look at the fans. We can tell it was white out. That's, oh, what, yeah. that's what the theme oh, was yeah. tonight. Just incredible fan base, really. But back to what's happening on the court. S like such aggressive gameplay right off the bat. And this yeah. is what we were expecting. But both teams just really trying to wear each other down to the bone, Tyler. Yeah, and we're going to see that a lot here with Matt Smollett coming up. He's at the point. Goes left. Baseline, blocks, oh, too almost. far, can't get his own rebound. And once again, no one there, Tyler. Yeah, I mean, he tries to get himself, but that's not something he has to do. He shouldn't have yeah. to do. Chow swings it out, three in the corner, too far, and the Dragon gets the rebound. Good recovery, but that was almost just like a play ago. They gotta watch that corner. Absolutely. That's a play that a lot of teams like, and the Hornets seem to want to draw it up a lot. And Bab, nice job knowing his limits, doesn't want the three ball even though he made a mid-range two earlier in this game. And Ooh. the Dragon, I thought that might have gotten called off for a travel, but I guess he dribbled right before it. So yep. we're going to get a block called on Zach Hurd. Yeah, I mean, that was a really fantastic jump up there. I mean, he really was able to get in the sky. And one thing I noticed, that ball bounced forward and then it came across the rim back at him. It was interesting. And the Dragon Damn. getting his fourth, fourth point of the night there. There is. I suppose they get many more. This is a tall team here. Uh, yes. Yeah. The paint, I mean, County. the paint is already a difficult place for them to be in right now, yeah. Tyler, because yeah. they don't have a lot of their players in there. But it's, I mean. Two for two. Look at that. Dragon now with five points leading the Red Hawks and a two-point game. Red Hawks trailing with two minutes to go in the first quarter. Back at the point, it's first. Might pass it off, he's on the blocks. Spinning around in the corner. And back up top. Now oh. in the paint. Can't quite see, and a denial by Owen Babb. Rebound, Dragicevic almost loses it. Wow. And now puts it forward to Millet. Great offensive rebound to go sky up there. That was very impressive. Absolutely, you had a better angle than me on that play, but Millet oh. with the finish. Look at that. Good effort game down again, back and forth. Now we're back to a tie game. Josh Moore screaming out at his players to cover their man. Now back up at the arc, swings it over to the side. And now Mismatch. that's in to, oh. hey, excuse me, Horaeus. A little bit too much power and now the Dragon. Up to Millette. A minute to go, 13 to 13 is the score. Max Millette with the ball. Aggressive defense. That was from Zach Hurd, and now the Dragon at the point. Dancing around first. Good D, good D. Double team, gets it off to Millette, barely. Trying to create some separation. They're just swarming him. And Bab on the blocks, puts it up. There nice. it is. There it is, got it while I was shot, it. put it up while I was going down. That was great. And it's like a nice dream, love it. And the Hornets gonna slow down a little bit as they take it up. Now at the free throw line, Dragicevic. There it is, denied. Stops it cold. Less than 30. Millette, layup. 
He'll go the to the line, I think. Maybe. And that's gonna be on Hurd again. His yes. second foul. He's gotta watch himself die. And he's playing really aggressive defense too. It's, I mean, it's a strategy, but it's up to the refs to decide if it's just or not. Yeah, I mean, Mason, always being strong and tight on defense is exactly what you want to see, but you got to understand, like, is their action just, you know? Is it okay to do that, or can they not? Like, I don't know. I think I think so far it's been a little bit iffy, but we'll see how it goes in the future. Absolutely. 24 right. seconds on the clock. Millette's Whoa. second is good. Now Hawks Back. go up by four. He goes two for two at the line. 20 seconds. First taking it slow. Trying to get past Fasulo. He'll watch the clock for a minute. Almost loses his dribble. Still there. Does he want the last shot himself? He could take it. The three. Too far. Rebound. Loose in the paint. Oh. And it's tapped in. Taps in. Will they count it? I think they will. Wait for the scoreboard. Yeah. And I think that that was Edward Horaeus who got that tap in right at the end. Yeah, Horaeus skied up there. What an impressive showing at that last seconds there from the Hornets. That yeah. was, I mean, we saw them warming up, Tyler. They have some serious hops. They really do. I mean, it's clear to us that there must be a plyometric place around here because they are consistently getting up to the rim. It's very impressive. Very yeah. impressive. Absolutely, and so the Hornets are trailing barely right now. Hawks staying with them. This is a tough pace for them to keep up though, Tyler. They yeah. haven't really played this aggressively typically. They like to play it a little bit slower, but this is what they're gonna have to do. They're gonna have to turn up the heat and keep it that way for the rest of the game if they wanna win this and go into the next round where they're either gonna be playing Tingsboro or Greenfield. Tingsboro, the higher of the two seeds there, they're the 12th seed, Greenfield the 21st. They are playing right now. They might actually, I think the game might be over at this point, depending yeah, on what man. time it is. I'm not exactly sure. I don't have a clock in front of me except for the game clock, which is at a fresh eight minutes for the second quarter. Yeah, Mason, we're very excited to see the outcome of this game, the Nets games, and figure out where we're going next. Yeah, during halftime, we'll see if we can get an update on the Greenfield-Tingsboro game, because if things go a certain way in this game and that game, Travel is called oh, on Max Millette on the court. Just letting his pivot foot drag a little too much. Yeah, you gotta be careful there, holding the ball for a long time. It's really easy to slip up. Absolutely. But if things go the right way in this tournament, we could have a frontier Greenfield matchup in Greenfield sometime early next week. Yeah, that'd be a really amazing thing for uh, and the Potter. community. Oh, the three. Oh, good. It's a little far, too far to the right, it looked like. Hit the back of the rim. And now Millette at the arc. Getting into the corner, baseline. He's stuck. Gets it out. Fasulo takes the three. Ooh, short. Oh, good. Oh, good. And Garrett Dredge is there on the double team with Millette. Good D, good D. Oh, and look at that. Goes That's inbound it. still. Dredge that has it. the ball spinning around. Gets it off to Modesto. Great oh passing. Look at that. Keeping the ball. Travels. And, j I mean. Back to back, I feel like he should be more on top of his game there, but that's all right. Absolutely, I mean. It, he it happens. Here's the thing, the that's two plays in a row that uh, have been killed by a travel called on Millette. He just needs to get on top of that. The refs are gonna call that mm. all the time. And now up top, Pump fake at the key, and now first on the blocks. Ooh. Nice job by Millette. Good Looked like pass. he might have cramped something over there, and Ellis can't quite oh. finish it. But first, he's limping around. This is bad news for the Hornets. Good finish from Edward Horaeus, but this is I did, still out on the court is Cade first. Coach might call a timeout just for him, and yeah. Millette gets two points. Yeah, there's the timeout called Cade first. That is a big 
big concern right now, Tyler. I mean, captain, of, senior captain of the team, one of your high scorers, he's got a legacy that's going on. We saw some Kellen first up on the wall behind us in the 1,000-point club for basketball back in 2000. So, I mean, huge player. Family's big on this, evidently. Yep. And he's leading the scoring for his team right now. And he, he, he's out for even just the rest of this quarter. That could have huge implications on the game. It really could, Mason. And, like, they're being really consistent right now, which is a great feature. Like, back and forth, they're able to finish. They're able to consistently have good passes and Absolutely. good understanding of their situations. And their one-on-ones, their matches, it's really good here. Yeah. What's here on their hand, they're not finishing all their plays. They're not getting the best passes of all time. And they're, they're not moving without the ball at the best, but... There, it's just little slight adaptations. Absolutely, but I think what Frontier might have going for them is they're playing just a little bit scrappier. Fasulo in the corner over there, when he made that save, Hornets just gave up. Yeah. They thought, oh, that's going out. He goes after it, saves it, dredges there to make a play, and Modesto just in the right spot to send it forward to Millet in that sequence. And Frontier still up by two, six minutes to go in the first half. And first, is back out on the court. Good sign for the Hornets. An opening, and now over to the other side. Chow in the paint, swings it out. Corner three is good. Yeah, they drew the defender in there, Mason, leaving someone in that corner. John Horaeus is two for two from that spot tonight. He's got six points on the night, and now up by one is the Hornets. Modesto puts it up, and oh. Morse wants a call on that. I mean, we said it was going to be a physical game, Tyler. Yeah, Mason, and that's what we're seeing so far. I mean, nothing wrong with that. I see a lot nope. of good contact here. Everyone's trying to go for these nice plays down low in the paint. and really like to see that. I'm yeah. really interested, especially in this matchup here down low with Modesto and Charles. It's great. And oh. travel is going to be called on first. Wow. Now it'll go the other way, and of course, Big fan section is upset about that. AD quieting them down after some choice words they have as a chant. That's a new one, I gotta say. And poked out. Ooh. Good play by Edward Horaeus. Yeah, very good hands there, Mason. I've been seeing that a lot in this game. There's been a really good, like, tiny little find. It's nothing major, but just like little small defensive position in here. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's very impressive. Great to see from the Horns. And I mean, it's expected. 19-1 and one team. You know, that's what you come to anticipate from them. Millet. Good movement. And the Dragon. Spin move. He stopped. Bab wants to pass it out. Takes the jumper. Little too far. They were all too cramped in there, Mason. Needing the space out a bit. Yeah. And it Hornets are doing a good oh. job of reading that as the three comes up short for first. He might be a little bit uh, off balance because of his injury. Got shaken up earlier. And Horaeus gets it into first yes. on the blocks. He'll reset at the arc. Horaeus trying to get open against Bab. And now at the line, the corner three again. No good first time for John Horaeus. Now other side, nice. Euro step, the dragon. Oh, oh. man. So close, off the tip of the rim. What a beautiful look from Sasha Dragicevic, but now, yeah. wow, look at that. There it is, money all day. First, cashes it in, four point lead for the Hornets, the and Fan four Sechen. to go. Van Setchen's in the rowboat now, paddle boat. <laughs> Alrighty. This, is just, this has gotta be the best fan section I've seen all season, Tyler. Must Bab be. loses oh, his dribble, no. and now first, who gets the steal, Oh, Ooh, the wow, dragon stops it. Fasulo knocks it loose, and now they get to set up defense as Potter puts up the floater. That won't go. Rebound, Horaeus, oh, as Bab oh. goes down. That was really tough there, Mason. I mean, they got to hold on to the, to the front. Yeah, timeout yeah. call, good call. Frontiers really got to focus up and play harder. More Absolutely. crack down, you know? Six-point lead for the Hornets right now. Uh, we're going to go to a break in just a moment, but we'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors, Albert Hearing Services in Greenfield and Holiday Pizza in South Deerfield. Go check them out. And if you would like to sponsor Frontier Community Access Television, contact Kevin Murphy or 
anyone that works here, I'm sure that they could they would be interested in that. So we will be back in just a few moments. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith, here with Tyler Wolkowitz, Ben Roberts, and Tom Alber. Whistle is blown, a little confusion on the court. Oh, Hawks didn't have enough players on the court. Dragicevic is supposed to be on. And now, 3.40 on the clock, Hawks down by six. Got to stage a bit of a comeback here, Tyler. Yes, they do. And oh, oh man, look at this. That's not how you, oh! oh he misses it! Wow. It'll stay the Hornets ball, but Milo Zeltzer gambling a little too much there. Yeah, Mason, I think three plays in a row now, there's been some bad finishes by Hornets. I can't say they're slowing down, but they gotta, gotta hold their lead. Yeah, they gotta lock in on making the baskets and actually landing them, because they, they're getting chances, but. And now the pass in to Horaeus, Eddie Horaeus. Trying to get into the paint, slings it out. A look. And Potter wow. cashes it in. His first points of the night. Finds a lot of space driving into the middle. There it is. And Caden Manning was looking for a pass as he was open in the corner for a moment. Fasulo didn't see him as he was going the other way. And Fasulo barely gets it off to Millet. Millet trying to find an opening. Now Fasulo dancing around. Goes to the left, puts it up. It's denied and it'll wow. stay Frontier's ball. Yeah, Mason, there was a lot of guys in his face there. It was a tough shot to take. Yeah, he didn't yeah. have anyone open there in that scenario. Nothing was happening. Absolutely. Some more movement, I think, needs to be happening on Frontier's yeah. Out yeah, side yeah. of things offensively. Um, I definitely, will say, definitely. both teams are playing very clean so far. No fouls in the second quarter. Whoa. And, oh, look at that. Bab gets take the ball away. ripped away from him and first with the finish. There it is, Mason. Very excellent play. Now the Hornets starting to pull away as after Frontier was taken. Ooh, that'll be, I think, three foul shots for Millette. Yes, it is, Mason. I think, yeah, that's three. You don't see that too often. Yeah, I mean, a foul on a three ball. And it I think it'll, they're saying it's white three, yep. So that's Zeltzer, who missed uh, his attempted dunk earlier. Um, mm. Millette's first is no good. no good. Really gotta make these at this point, Tyler. I mean, down by 10, you need everything you can get and just. Yeah, Mason, I mean, once you go into the second half, you wanna be able to make sure you're as close as possible if not winning. Absolutely. No. Millette makes his second. Can he go two for three on this trip for the line? We'll see as he takes this last shot. Nine point lead now, 2.39 on the clock. And it'll start right after this shot. In and out, Good. and the rebound goes to Zeltzer. Really First. good movement by the Hornets. Oh yeah, just, I mean look at the separation they're creating. First with the ball. He's got a guy at the point, but hands it in. Horaeus. Trying to get it back out in the corner. First can't take the three. Now he oh. will. Drains wow. it. Really great separation right in front of our corner. Ellis. Whoa. Just Tips not the a ball. Good, yeah. And first was open on the other side. Yeah. Travel. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, travel called, but collision after the fact. Mm. Good sportsmanship from Alex Ellis helping that this guy up. Yeah, Mason, that was a really fast-paced section. I think they need to take it slow here and get some points in. Absolutely. They got two minutes to work with. That's a good amount of time. Yes, They're down, down by 12. I mean, not the situation they want to be in. Yeah. But 
th they can come back from this. This is a surmountable deficit, Tyler. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Mason. Oh, dredge for there three. It is. In and out, Bab puts oh. it back up, and it's no good. Great effort, though. That's what yeah. we like to see. More of that is needed. Yep, absolutely. And I mean, both teams having trips on offense that they just, you know, not cashing in. Hornets more than uh, Red Hawks more than the Hornets, uh, I should say. But great look, really Milo great Seltzer. They're, they're really holding on the ball to the perfect last second, and that's fantastic. Really Absolutely. good athleticism. Yeah. Like Manning, the three. Oh, a little to the right. That's what happens when you take the moving shot, Tyler. Just yep, yep. throws you off just a little bit, and Manning needs to just work on setting his body before he takes those shots. He's got a really good eye for the arc and the distance and the – position that he needs to put the ball in but when you're moving like that it's going to disturb that especially the positioning of where the basket is going to be yeah. when you stop yeah. and when you haven't stopped it's constantly changing it's just I mean and now oh, listen, you're right, you're right. another foul called Jake Chow and now Bab with the ball on the blocks takes it back out Dredge nice Ooh. good bounce good bounce alright less than a minute it's an <laughs> impressive look from Dredge. Not a big guy getting some points on the blocks. Oh, yeah. But now, other side, it's Graham Lewis. Gets stopped and now first with the ball. Let's see what he's got. Gets a screen. Nice. Wow. That'll be, I think, on Dragicevic. That was a really good pitch and roll there from the Hornets. That's fantastic. Just, I mean, it's those kind of plays that really just make things happen for teams like this and give them these kinds of leads, make them this dominant. 19-1, Tyler. It's just, yeah. I yeah. mean, it's astounding. It really is. Modesto will come in for dredge. Yeah, Mason, it's making, like, for the Hornets, in like, their case, they're being so much more smooth here. They're able to consistently put points up and not be slowed down at all. It's yeah. almost as if they don't need a playbook and they're just going. Yeah. Nice. Two for two at the line is Edward Horaeus. 30 seconds, shot clock is dark. Millette could take time off the clock and have the last shot, but I think they just want to get as many points as they can. Try and hurry it up maybe? We'll see what they do. Millette might swing it out, takes it himself. Finds it, there it is. There we go. 13 points in the first half for Max Millette, and now the Hornets have a chance for a final shot. First with a step back three, gonna be short. Oh, no. Put back, and good defense at the buzzer by the Hawks to shut down a last second wow. attempt. Yeah. So the Hawks go into the half down by 12. They stuck with them for the first quarter, really close first quarter, Tyler. Yeah. Yeah. And then Hornets just pulling away in the beginning of the second quarter and Hawks starting to get back with them again but they need I mean it's a decent deficit that they need to come back from though and I, you know what, what do you think they need to be doing to come back from this and move on to the next round in state Styler? well Mason they are really like they lost a little bit of energy there this this team Messitz has been going like really hard like this is a team fifth in the Fifth in the division, correct? Yes. Yeah, I mean, they are really skilled, and they're very fast-paced, aggressive, and, like, Frontier usually is like that at the first quarter, you know? They're being really aggressive, coming out on the ball, getting a lot of points in early, but it's Absolutely. hard to do that against a team that can meet that, you know? If they match that, it's going to be really tough, and they lost the energy quick. It's totally. okay. It's understandable. They just got really cracked down on certain elements of the game. Absolutely. And as always, Tyler, it's coming down to this pivotal third quarter. Oh, Hawks yeah. need to come out strong. They need it to come out scoring basket. They need to make baskets. They need to make as many as they can. And they also need to figure out how to stop Cade first. He is leading the game in points. 15 points and Owen Babb might need to get a little bit of uh, support down in the paint with Edward Horaeus as well. He's got eight on Certainly. the night right now. Him and Cade First are leading the Hornets in points right now. And Max Millette leading the way on the other side of things for the Red Hawks with 13. Um, and he's also the only 
Actually, no, he's not. There's a couple other fouls that I didn't mark down. There was one I didn't get. I know that. But regardless, Hawks down by 12, need to come back in this third quarter because fourth quarter is just a little too late for it, honestly. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They need, they need to come more. back and um, at least tie this up in the third quarter, and we will s hopefully see that happen when we come back from this break. It's halftime, 36-24, yeah. to 24, Hawks trailing by 12. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith, here tonight with Tyler Wolkowitz, Ben Roberts, and Tom Alber. We'd like to take a moment to read a little message from uh, MIAA before we come back into this second half. The Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association is committed to good sportsmanship. Sportsmanship, citizenship, and responsibility are the trademarks of high school activities. Support school activities with your own display of good sportsmanship and help encourage America's youth to accept the responsibility which freedom demands. Support your local high school, see the future of America on display, attend high school competitions in your community. And I'll tell you something right now, Tyler. Yeah. This community knows how to support their high school. And it, I mean, it's just incredible. We had a couple of the guys uh, that are wearing some of the green and white striped uh, overalls come over and say hi to us during halftime and just i mean just so so much fun energy man oh, it's, it's just gonna be phenomenal. great it's gonna be great mason i hope that we can get a post game interview with them that would be totally. absolutely fantastic that would be great yeah but I mean, yeah going back to the game we're going to be going back into the second half uh in just over a minute now um i mean one thing i will say frontier they're down right now they're down by 12 but the Hornets are setting a really uh, tough pace for the Red Hawks to match. And they're yep. doing a great job of sticking with them, just, you know, saving their breath, my iron lung, and, like, yeah. you know, really just exactly. being able to stick with them. Of course, they need to step it up, and they need to start shutting them down simultaneously so that they can come back. But it's, you know, there's a lot of things that they need to be doing at the same time, but they can do it. I, th I mean, I, we've yeah. seen them pull off some pretty incredible things. And I think that they have a great mindset and a great energy coming into this. They really do, Mason. I think they're definitely going to pull this off. In this break here, the, most of the players on the Frontier team were practicing. They were out in the port getting some shots in. That's exactly what you want to see. they got to be pushing themselves, pushing their limits, and then helping the team get this W. Absolutely. And, it's, right. I mean, this is the biggest game of the year for this basketball team. Season is on the line. If they cannot oh, yeah. come back from this 12-point deficit, that's it. They're going home, and they're not coming yep. back. You know, that's that's just the way it is, plain and simple. And oh, so yeah. every, everything that this team has worked for is on the line right here tonight in the next 16 minutes of basketball, and they're going to put it all out on the court, Tyler. Max Millette pokes they're the really ball honest. loose from Potter. Now Potter on the blocks. Oh, what a nice shot. Literally no one in his way. Yeah. Beautiful. Good way to start off for the Hornets, and they need to keep this energy going. Millette, or excuse me, Fasulo taking it up. Goes right and hands it off to Millette. From the line, no good, oh. and no one there for the rebound, Tyler. Yeah, Mason, you hate to see it, but that was a good floater, good space. And now in the corner. Open nice. three, Chow comes up short, and the Dragon gets the defensive rebound. Now Millet, and the oh. pass, I think it might have been intended for Ellis. It was either Ellis for, or for Sulo, but it was right in between the two of them. Regardless, yeah. it was Listen, that's something, you, out. that's something you see all the time. Somebody splits the difference between the two passers, and then it just goes in between them. Yeah. It happens. It's all right. And the shot clock needs to be fixed. Yep. Good catch by the refs. It's so now 14 point lead for the Hornets. Just a minute, uh, barely a minute gone in uh, this second half. Inbound to Max Millet. He's at the arc. Up against Hurd. Ooh, a lot of connection down low. Oh, yeah. I, it's very physical down there. Love Almost like a, close to a war zone. And now Bab in the thick of it. Boom! Wow. Look at that. Nice separation. Good shot. Puts it up. This is a great power move from the skyscraper down low. Oh, yeah. And yeah. now trying to get an opening up top is Potter. Pass back and forth. And now tries to find a lane. He'll swing it back out. First lead scorer. And now Horea sets a screen on the baseline. Corner and Chow. Corner three, first Whoa. sells it short, and now back at the line, Chow, the layup is good. Wow. They, yeah, the Frontier team here is not able to stay in front of their men the whole time because they're spreading out so well and moving the ball. Yeah. It's very Hornet, impressive. Hornets is doing a great job of splitting the defense. 
Ball's loose and oh. first gets the rebound off the tip. Loses it out. I don't know if that was a shot, but it's flooded out of there. Yeah. And first just cashes it in for two more points. Very good finish in the air. He's racking it up, Tyler, and now Josh Moore is going to take a timeout of desperation right now. They yeah. really got to put some together and put some together quick. It's starting to get out of reach really quickly, Tyler. Yeah, Mason, I swear. But like, something that I find in very significant is like how hard they're hitting at like the hoop, like right under the hoop in the paint. It's mm -hmm. fantastic to see. I mean, yeah, I swear some of these players like first here, he must be bulletproof or something. You know, like bulletproof. I wish I was. It's yeah, crazy. Another now I got a, on. another good, yeah, good song yeah. coming on. But there it is. It's, I mean, yeah, we were just talking. I, it's a war zone down in yep. the paint. Yep. Just um, Edward Horaeus and Owen Babb pushing back and forth. Alex oh, yeah. Ellis uh, in there too. Uh, just, I mean, everyone just really laying it out on the court tonight for the Red Hawks, giving it their all. They want this win badly. And they've, yeah. they've come out a long way for this game, and they don't, they really don't want to be going home with a loss. Exactly. They need to make some stops here and really be able to put some points on the board. I'm thinking that they might be able to here, you know, but we just got a good look from Owen Babb. All righty, yeah. let's see if we can get this. Max Millett bringing it up. Motions for a screen, and now the Dragon fakes the shot, takes the, the three. three. In and out. So oh. close. Great box out there from first on Alex mm -hmm. Ellis, though. Letting his teammate get the rebound. And now he has the ball at the arc. Trying the give and go. Horaeus. And now back into him. Wow. Oh, what a beautiful drawn up play. And look at the scramble that's happening in the paint. Potter, timeout called wow. yeah. by Tim St. Laurent. Good timeout. Really good timeout. Very smart. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, they re really did. They did Owen Babb in the air there. Like, he couldn't be able to get down fast enough to come cover him, but then the rebound just went wild. You know, they couldn't get to it in time. It's understandable. Yeah. It's understandable. A smart play by the Red Hawks on defense, and, I mean, still big scoring deficit that they need to come back from. But it all starts on defense, Tyler. It always does. They need to yeah. start coming up with those stops and not letting the Hornets cash in points every single trip they get. Oh, yeah. Uh, I couldn't agree more, Mason. I mean, it seems like it's nonstop. This train is continuing to go. It's crazy. It's crazy. And this deficit is only getting greater, which is just going to make it harder later in the line. This is a very key point here. they got to get some points up. Yeah. and it, I mean, if the Red Hawks don't put something together soon, Tyler, they're going to go out like a black star in this tournament. Yes, it is. It could happen. It could happen. All righty. Now we're coming That's back from the course. timeout called by the Hornets. And for once, the crowd isn't quite into it. This, that would be a song I, I would assume they'd mm. be into. It's right. one of the more interactive ones, you know. And three more. Good bounce pass. But now Horde gets stuffed. Oh. Rebound loose. And Chow gets blocked as well. Horde somehow gets the rebound. And it'll go the other way. It looks like he stepped out, I think, was the call. Yep, yep. Wow, Mason. I mean, they are getting a lot of so many good offensive rebounds. Like, this is fantastic. Absolutely. They're skying above everyone. It's very, very, very good. And very Bab good. takes the three. No good. Ooh. Just kind of a little too far, Look it looked that. like. Hit the back of the rim. And now first going the other way. Steps back a little bit. And Horaeus takes it himself. Sells it short. And Bab gets the rebound. His first in a little while. Now the Dragon in the corner. Baseline, trying to get somewhere, there it cashes is. it in. Doesn't draw the foul, but still gets the point. There it is. And it's a good thing that uh, his defender was playing pretty clean. That easily could have been a foul that was called on that. And a great screen set down low by Horaeus. Now heard the three in the corner. Chow oh. goes in and out of the Three's rim. Down. Horaeus, spin move, puts it up. And Hurd gets the rebound back out first. Drives. Wow. Beautiful. Just. Beautiful. Gets down low, finds an opening. Love it. There's just no stopping Cade first. He is an absolute unit, Tyler. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Mason. I mean, he's finding the absolute right place. Of, ooh. And that'll stay front two's ball, I believe. Just tapped out by Jake Chow. 
doing really good def defense over the passes here. Like they got to be really careful what they're doing. Absolutely. I mean, uh, the Hornets are doing a great job of reading it, Tyler. They're closing up the passing lanes, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. when it, Frontier tries to create that separation, they're seeing it, and then they're immediately going to shut it down. Yeah. It's just really impressive, and I think that that is the, the main reason why they're 19 and one. Basulo misses that three ball, and now going the other way. Milo Zeltzer, Chow, drives, swings it out. Three ball, oh, oh my goodness. The Dragon tries to fly over to block it, but no luck. John Horaeus, the big man in the paint's little brother right there. Yep. And now the oh. Dragon just wasn't quite there. Another miscue on the passing from the Red Hawks. Mm. And this has cost them in previous games this year. Three ball again. Horaeus, two wow. for two. Back to back. Dang. And I think he actually is four for four tonight. He has 12 points, all from threes. Fasulo traps himself in the corner. Cross court, Modesto, the jumper. Boom. That goes. First points of the night for Rowan Modesto. Nice and quick, but now it's a 20 point deficit, Mason. Yeah, not, I mean, <laughs> really a bad situation for the Hawks. Long way to go for them if they're gonna have any shot. And they have under three minutes to pull some together at the end of the third quarter. First creates the separation, but can't oh. drain it. And now Rebound. Chow squeezes in. Seemingly no issue there in the paint. Just putting it up. Wow. And Millette, does he want to pull it up top? Gets double teamed. Finds the distance. Will go to the line. Or will he? He's stuck with it. Simply a good plan, but. Yes, he will go to the line. Yes, he will. Pays out in the end. Now is a chance to send it back to a 20 point deficit. This is the best he can do right now. Yep. First shot is good. Wow. And we should mention Max Millette now has over 300 points on the season in what may potentially be his last game of the season. Big milestone for him as he goes one for two at the line. And now a 21 point lead. Now here's a question for you, Tyler. Just removing it, going strategic for a minute here. Yep. What do you think would be the benefits of a press that Frontier could implement right now? Well, I think the benefits, of course, oh, look at that, just like this, a steal, good steals. Oh, I think it's very likely that we will get a lot of steals from a press, but it's gonna tire this Frontier team out, and then they're gonna steal it back. First. Yep. That's a really good case study there, Mason, because I think yeah. that's exactly what's gonna happen. They could. It's a quit steals, but in the long run, I don't know how well it will pay out. Yeah, it's not going to pay out if they can't connect these passes, Tyler. Mm, and, certainly. I mean, that's kind of just the bottom line. Another misdirected pass. Millette. Boom. Makes Over the great wall. <laughs> something out of nothing. Wow. There it is. Put some points up. Again, 21-point lead for the Hornets. The Dragon putting some pressure up top. And now travel going to be called on John Horaeus. There it is. Coming in for Horaeus is Joe Glass, as well as Ben Jacobson, and Cade First is getting a well-deserved rest. He has 21 points on the night, Tyler. Yeah, Mason, that is incredible by any standards. That is insane. Absolutely. Pasulo cross court, Wide open three, the Dragon! Bang! Bang! Look at that. Wow, All a right. minute to go, third quarter, 54 That's to 36. Horaeus! Wow. Wow. Yeah, I mean, he had the dragon flying there. Couldn't have anything. Just All another right. great look in the paint from Edward Horaeus. He's just, I mean. Really he, was, trolling his defender. He just knows what he's doing. Millette stumbles, recovers, and gets it into Modesto, oh. and he'll lose it. Wow. And again, it's a lot of these games have come down to who is winning in the paint, Tyler. Yeah. And more often than not, oh, three ball, chow. Open. Oh, my Boom. goodness. Look at that, Mason. Nice quick threes back and forth. 59 to 36. Frontier 
and steps Ellis out. steps out with 10 to go in the third quarter. And great effort, Mason. Yeah. Certainly. Not, not looking good for the Hawks. Mm. Still a great effort they're putting up against this. I mean, 28th seed coming to play in the fifth seed's home turf, and they're putting up a game like this. Oh, and the denial wow. will get called for a foul. Modesto didn't quite set his feet, it looked like, yeah. Yeah, like you were saying, Mason, these odds are heavily stacked against this Frontier team, yet yeah. they're, still, they're still showing up, and they have been. It's just they really got to come back from this deficit here. Yeah, 23 points could be made a little bit higher, and it will. Jake Chow, now 11 on the night. 60 to 36. Will it be 61? Yes. And it is a 25 point deficit, Mason. That's very extreme. Long bomb from Fasulo will be short and that'll end the third quarter. 61 to 36. Dominating lead from the Hornets. Not a lot of hope for the Hawks. And I mean, at this point in the game, you gotta be honest with yourself, Tyler. There is really very, very little hope that the Red Hawks can pull this off. But what, we, what I think we can expect from them is for them to lay it all out on the court in this last fourth quarter. And the flag yeah. is coming out, look at this. Oh my God, can we get a camera on that? They got a flag in the student section. I mean, yeah, that's, that's very nice. I like to see their school spirit, but you know, this Frontier <laughs> team, I don't think it's time for them to sulk. I think they're going to be able to come back and still get a lot of energy on the court. Yeah. This is a big deficit to come back from, but it's not impossible. We've seen no, worse. It certainly isn't. certainly see much greater. Absolutely. The Red Hawks, they're, however small of a chance it is, they're going to take it, and they're going to run with it, Tyler. Yeah, and they are. Even if this is going to be the end of their season, they're going to go out. But they're going to go out fighting. And... Right. They've got eight minutes to prove themselves to this fifth-seeded Manchester Essex team who is up right now 61-36. to 36. I think we can expect some very good decisions here, trying to find nice shots, really nice good open and really hard yeah. pour down in the paint. We got some three-point shooters out for the Hawks, Caden Manning and Garrett Dredge. Dredge now trying to find Manning, but we'll get it back up top. Millette getting pressured from Hurd. On the blocks. Modesto's jumper too. too short. Frontier really has to know how to break their really good man-to-man -man defense. Yeah. It's tough. And first, bounces around and goes. That was a really good two there. I'm running out of room on my sheet for his points, Tyler. It's yeah. Just, it's just incredible. Weapon. And Caden Manning's going to get called for a foul. Yep. I didn't quite catch what that was, but yeah, he doesn't usually good. get called for a lot when he plays. No, Mason, but like they're stuck with a very physical team here, nevertheless. Yeah. But they're still going to, you know, fight back and hold hold on to what they have. Absolutely. I mean, physical team, you got to answer that. The three ball too far, and Manning gets the rebound. That was from Horaeus again, John Horaeus. Manning, oh, too far okay. off the back of the rim, and now first up against Manning. Lays it in, not a problem. 25 points for Cade first, leading his team in this round of 32 game. Foul gonna be called, I think, yeah, that's going to be on Zach Hurd. That'll be his third foul. Wow. That is crazy, Mesa. Shot clock once again, I believe. Yes. Got to get that correct. And Hurd just was all over Millette. Yeah. Really great defense. I mean, this man-to-man -man is phenomenal. They're able to cover everyone almost all the time. Millette Ooh. goes down hard. Heard going to get called again for something, I believe. Mm, yeah. It's third on the night. Fourth. Fourth now. Wow. Two quick fouls on Zach Heard, yeah. and he's 
likely to oh. get benched after that. Very Don't want to have someone be. fouling out right now. Manning, too high of a pass to take the three. Cross court and into the stands. It's all right. Had a guy behind him, but just didn't turn around to see it. Yep. A lot of powers expected here, Mason. I mean, they're trying to get some pretty easy points here, but there's nothing to be quick and easy. And now Owen Babb playing a one-man press. Modesto yeah. gets the steal. Now hands it off to Manning. Gets to the arc. Spin move behind the back. Baseline. Bounce pass. Wow. Modesto can't finish it, but Babb racing for the rebound. He's there. Top of the key, Modesto, the jumper, too short again. And wow. Horaeus gets the rebound now, up to first. Step back, all day, oh. oh my goodness. There's been some really great fundamentals there on both sides, Mason. I mean, it was quick and easy yeah. for the Hornets, but not so much for the other team. I mean, Cade first putting up a clinic for mm. the Red Hawks in this game, really. Millette, got to be careful with that pivot foot, almost took it up again, and now it's stolen. Horaeus. And he'll get fouled as he goes up. Wow. All righty, Mason. Well, now this lead continues to increase here. Seniors being thanked for the contributions to the team. I respect that. Yeah, totally. I, they, you can see them uh, on the camera. They've got all their seniors for the winter sports. Yep. Um, Pinned up on the wall. Not a shot to see first and Herrera's there. Not at all. Oh, yeah. Yep. We haven't seen a lot of uh, McKenna out there. He's one of the seniors. Mm. But likely towards the end of the game, we'll see him put out there with the kind of lead that um, this team has right now. The Hornets up 68 to 36. Vasulo. A lot of space. Doesn't get any clearance at the arc. Back and forth. Can he get the separation? And now the Dragon blocks. It's Bab driving, oh. and he draws the foul. There it is. That was some really good straight there from Owen Bab. Really yeah. trying to drive downtown through a man. He did it very well. trying to hear exactly what it was that they were chanting. I believe they said, we want Kevin, which is the first name of McKenna. Oh. The seniors that's they a, have not played very one. much. <laughs> well, I mean, of course they do. Lead like mm. this. You don't have much to lose at this point. Oh, in and out on the second shot. At Babs trip to the line in the corner. It's Chow this blocks. Line. Oh, a heavy oh. fall. He gets right back up. And finishing the job is Alexander St. Marie. Yeah, that was a great finish. I mean, nothing to be said there. Boom. Yeah. Can't stop that. Crossover. And the handoff. Manning. Dredge. Can't get the separation. And now Fasulo. He's at the point. Goes to the right in the corner. Pass in, Bab okay. on the baseline, stays in, and it's oh. ripped away by Chow. Not much Jake Chow, there. the feed into the paint, and Fasulo wow. fouls him hard. Beautiful pass there for that in the paint. You see that? That was great. Oh, yeah. Great look from Jake Chow. Just, he, the court vision is always mm. a huge thing in these games, yeah. and we love talking about it, Tyler. But yeah, Mason. I mean, that's like such an important aspect that is not talked about enough. That's why we talked about it more because – yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's been a huge aspect to why the Hornets are up by so much in this game here. Absolutely. They have been really well-rounded and been able to control the ball every step of the way, yeah. find the open man, and keep the movement going consistently no matter what. Uh, it's, it's very impressive. And, you know, it made sense for this team to be, you know, they've been the division. Don't doubt that at all. Absolutely. I mean, they've really proven their worth in this game yep. tonight, Tyler. And... We do have an update as that shot is made by John Horaeus. He's got 13 on the night now. There it is. More than his older brother, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been a huge presence in the paint. He's been out for a little while, giving him a rest uh, for their next game, which is going to be against Tingsboro. 
Greenfield has been knocked out of the tournament by five points. 66 to 61 was oh, the final smart. score in that game, uh, which finished just about an hour ago. And the fans still want Kevin McKenna to come out. Foul will be called, I think, on Gaudreau. Yeah, yep. that's a good drum. All right. Inbound under the net. And now in the corner. Handoff. It's Taking Graham it Lewis. Lewis. Oh, wow. Modesto will get called for that as Lewis goes yeah. down hard. And the fouls are getting a little out of hand for the Red Hawks. They, I mean... Game's out of, out of reach for them at this point, Tyler, yeah. in all <laughs> reality. But, like, you don't want to be playing like this where you're giving them a bonus. And, oh, look at who's suiting up on the sideline. It's Kevin McKenna. Wow, the student section is going wild. And he was the one, he was the one that had some crazy hops we were talking about before the game he started, really does. Tyler. He really does. Great hops. <laughs> this is just incredible. I mean, like, uh, in and out on the second one. Oh, and what a save. Wow. There it is. You love to see that. Uh, no Garrett. matter what, given the energy. It will it will get turned over. Ellis doesn't want the three. Feed into Dredge. Oh, oh almost. the hook shot doesn't go. But Kevin McKenna with the step back. Great handles. Look at this. Oh, and he'll pass it away. Lewis, he's up against Garrett Dredge. Feed into the blocks, and he goes down hard. Lewis with the finish. First points of the night. That, all right. Three minutes to go. Manning, and that'll get tipped. Foul's gonna be called, oh, on Kevin McKenna. Ooh, man's not happy about that one. <laughs> Touch that man. So now it'll be Red Hawks ball with 3.10 left in the game. And now Frontier starting to put some of their second string players out on the court. CJ Hannum out there. Modesto hands it off to Dredge. All he needs is the separation and he'll pull a three any day of the week. Yep. Ellis. A lot of movement. Dredge. Takes the shot, the spin, spin move, and draws the foul as he goes into the blocks. And now both teams have a bonus, Tyler. <laughs> Love to see that, Mason. Always at the end, it's very exciting. Although the store is not as close as you usually like to see that with, this is still a very it's, great game. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, like, the fans are really carrying it right now, even though we came out here and uh, with the Red Hawks. Good and Dredge makes Good that. Shot. Even though we came out with here, came out here with the Red Hawks and they're coming away with a tough loss to end their season tonight. It's just been so much fun to be here in this uh, incredible environment uh, that Manchester Essex has. It's really an incredible thing. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Mason. This environment's very nice. Absolutely. Good movement. And Lewis out to McKenna. Nice. Street spirit. Oh, oh, no good. Not happening. He's close. It was a good take. It really and was. And Lewis, a little too aggressive on the defense. You know, I gotta be. I gotta say, Tyler, I'm a little surprised that they're uh, calling that kind of physicality now when they weren't earlier. They were letting mm. them play, but now they're cracking down when a lot of the second string players are out. You know. Um, well, I think that might be a subconscious thing. It's it's very hard to avoid when all the energy's going true. up. You know, usually this is the most important uh, part of the game, and the fans are definitely echoing that no matter what. Yeah. And it's un it's understandable. You bring up a good point, but you know, regardless. Um. Dredge on his second trip to the line. Very good free throw shooter here. Yeah, went one for two last time we saw him here just a minute or so ago. And now I wonder if we'll see Carter Miller go out onto mm. the court. JV player coming up to varsity last game. He got his first points. And we got 2.30 left in this game in the Hornets' nest. Dredge goes oh. two for two. Taking it up, Noah Cohen just came off the bench. Hands it off to his teammate, Zacharias. And now back to Cohen. McKenna at the arc. 
Goes in and a little too late. Hits the bottom of the backboard. Goes out of bounds. That will go to Frontier, I believe. Nobody had the ball in that play. It's <laughs> everyone yeah. was fumbling it a little bit. That's all right. I mean, everyone's tired. This has been a really hard physical game, and you love to see it. The energy's out. Yeah. Garrett Dredge will take it up for the Hawks. Jab step. Nice. Little separation. Out to Goudreau. Modesto. Oh, oh I could have taken it. Just hesitated. hesitated too long, yeah. And now, and, and one. one. Look, Look at that. that. <laughs> Modesto still making things happen in under two minutes. Yeah, Mason, it's, this is like really exciting to see. I'm still hopeful to see some more diversity, like you know, in shots here. I want to see. Absolutely. Oh, there it is, three-point play. I want to see Jared Dredge, the Street Spirit fade out man. You know, I feel like he can get some good there shots in here. Yeah. I'm excited for this. Thirty-point lead. Thirty-point lead right now. And McKenna draws the foul as wow. he goes in to the paint. And that was C.J. Hannum, I think, who's going to get called for yeah. it. Yeah. Or no, it's Garrett Dredge. All righty. And the crowd goes silent. It's Kevin McKenna at the line. He'll miss it. Alrighty, a 30 point lead now with just under two minutes to go. I would I'm gonna fairly say that now it is certainly impossible, but yeah. goes for the second shot. I feel like we're at it. I know. <laughs> you gotta respect gotta a golf a tournament quiet. over here, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Be quiet, he's gonna take a shot. And now Dredge will take it up once again. Movement in the back by Gaudreau. Wide Separation open. and nice Hannum. dish. Street spirit. Oh, it oh, fades out. That's all right. A lot of space, a lot of opportunity. Tough look, McKenna. Oh. oh, good. And Hannum's there for the rebound. Quick Up to rebound. Dredge. He's got Howard down on the other side of the court, but he'll keep it himself. And it's oh. poked out. Noah Cohen goes the other way. Nice feed. And McKenna can't put it to bed. There it is. But it's Chris Glass off the glass. 75 to 43. Yeah, this Glass character is a very nice guy. Very good player too, it seems. Absolutely. Right. And now Luke Howard. Oh, in and out. Dances around the rim. And there he is, Carter Miller. Coming in. Look at that. Garrett Dredge will... Take a seat. Under a minute to go. We'll see if the, well, the Red Hawks will likely get a last possession here. Mm. It's just a matter of how long it takes the Hornets to score a basket or for there to be a turnover. The three ball, McKenna can't finish it. And right. Carter Miller takes it up, Hannum. C.J. Hannum good fake, good fake. wants the shot, and Ooh. he will draw the foul. foul. Gives McKenna a little pat on the back. Yeah, he uh, he acknowledges he acknowledges that call and like how it went and all. All right, final seconds of the game here. Let's see if Hannum can get some points on the board for his team. He does. He makes this one lowering it down to a, a short thirty. 30 point spread. Second shot's no good. Howard off the rebound. Three. Miller. Nice. Oh, doesn't want the three. In the corner, Hannum. Boom! Oh! Wow. Cash that in. Alrighty, last second. And a loose ball. Hornets on top of it. Glass with it. Puts it up for three. No Falls good. short. And Howard has it at the end. 75 to 47, a tough loss to end the Red Hawks season. In a long ride home, it's gonna be for them and for us too. Um, well, Tyler, I mean, I gotta say, this was, regardless of the outcome, Oh, this is great. Yeah. Regardless of the outcome, Red Hawks put up something incredible today. 
It really did, Mason. Yeah, this was a very exciting the game to see, you know. Like, it was so much effort, a lot of energy. This environment was so fun to be in for all the players and uh, everyone here, you know. Absolutely. Really good game. Absolutely. And I I mean, looking over the scoring sheet, I got to give the shout out to Kate first. Yep. Man of the night right now for the Hornets. Really brought it home for them. And let me, let me just count this up really quick. 28 points. Absolutely wow. stunning. Wow. I, I mean, it's just incredible. But on the other side of things, Max Millette leading the way, of course, 16 points for the Red Hawks. Big story is there is no points for a big man on the court, Nico Fasulo. He yeah. did not score a single point in this game. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before for the Red Hawks this season. And, Tough you know, loss. I think that I can – I don't think it's anything against him. I think that is everything that the Hornets did. They – watched film they saw that he was a big player and they decided we're going to shut him down he's not going to score tonight and they did just that and you know my hat goes off to them Tyler it really does yeah on the other side of things Matt Smollett did really good on this team they scored a lot of points 16 on the night and also the dragging getting 10 very impressive stuff absolutely absolutely and it, um so now Manchester Essex Hornets they are going to go to face off against the 12th seed Tingsboro um it will be a home game for them, so best of luck to them. Red Hawks will have a long ride home. Um, and we yep. will, We have a couple fans over here. How exactly are we going to do this, Tyler? All right, I'm thinking I'm going to give them you're you're gonna gonna give give yours, them. and you're going to take mine? Yeah. And you're just going to talk them to it, yep. all right? One at a time, one at a time. So introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Becker Walker. I'm a veteran member of the uh, student section here at Manchester Essex Hornets. Yeah, you're making a lot of noise tonight, man. It was really great to watch. What kind of, what makes there be so much energy at this school? I think generally our team just cares so much about how they're doing and how much passion they have in their almost undefeated record. And yeah. we just have so much love for them and they, they work so hard every single day. And we just want to get in there and fucking see them work hard and see them win. And that's all we want. So that's why we bring all that energy is just bring yeah. them up bring that energy up and as soon as we can get them going that's how I think they can win the best of these teams. Absolutely you make some really great points and I mean here's the big question do you think that they're going to go all the way this year? I mean before I've watched a bunch of games but I haven't seen a team like this who just love each other and work as hard as they do so Absolutely. I fully believe I'm going to see my boys there at TD Garden winning the state championships and I want that record on there on the I want to just a banner saying that we won the 2024 championships. Yeah. I believe we'll be there. I think you guys will. A great win tonight. You guys played really great. And student section was phenomenal. Best I've ever seen, I've got to say. Of course. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for giving us your time. Thank you, guys. Yeah, of course. You're awesome. And so we will take a moment to uh, read out one last message from AA give them the last shout out that they deserve so where's the paper there it is this contest today is being brought to you by the massachusetts interscholastic athletic association this association is responsible for governing coordinating and promoting educational athletics and it aims to provide student athletes with the best high school experience possible the miaa stresses the values of interscholastic athletics from discipline and commitment to sportsmanship and teamwork Visit the MIAA website today at MIAA.net and explore all that they have to offer. You can also go there to see who's going to be playing next. They got the tournament brackets and everything. Tough loss once again for the Red Hawks. Great student section, a great environment at this school. Had a great time, Tyler. But Hawks come away with a tough loss, 75-47. I think we'll call it a night and take the long bus ride back home to South Deerfield. And so that, that'll be it for our stream tonight. Thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. Mason Smith, Tyler Wolkowitz, Ben Roberts right over there, and Tom Albers running around somewhere talking to someone. Thank you all so much. Uh, it's the end of the boys' season, but we will be covering the girls in the round of 16. Hope you tune in for that. It's going to be...